What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So it looks like I need a haircut. But anyways, um, today is a short video about uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an LED light on my central boiler so that uh, when I'm viewing it from the house, um, I can see whether or not the flue is open or the uh, damper or whatever you want to call it, the draft door. Um, the, anytime the solenoid is engaged, I'm going to wire in an LED light that also uh, basically signifies that because as I look out the window from the house, I want to be able to see on the side of the burner that faces the house, I want to see that my draft door is open or closed. So a little quick project today. Hope you stay tuned. All right, guys, so <laughs> the sun is uh, is crazy out today, so it's good stuff. So as you can see here, my uh, d front door to my wood burner uh, faces away from the house. Um, it basically just I uh, oriented it like that because it was away from the westerly wind, blah, 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 but you cannot see it. So if you are in a situation, uh, me and Homestead Jay, if you haven't checked out his channel, you need to check it out. It's below in the description, but we were discussing it um, on how inconvenient it is that it doesn't have any kind of indication on it uh, when the door damper is open. So uh, if your damper's open and you wanna know, uh, you know if it's on for an extended amount of time or you're just a nerd and you like to watch your wood burner from the house, um, this is a little indicator that we're gonna wire up and uh, so it will be able to show you. So let's go inside, I'll show you the LED and then uh, we're gonna get down to it. All right, guys, so I went on Amazon and I bought some uh, 115 volt or 120 volt uh, LED lights. So these little green LEDs, I figured it'd be cool to do green um, so that uh, you know when it's uh, good to go, right? So these are simple, simple little uh, two wire LEDs. Um, I'm gonna attempt to show you, well, I probably won't do that on camera because people will be uh, all all up in rage about uh, safety, but uh, basically you wanna put this in an outlet, <laughs> um, the LED should light up. So we're gonna mount this little LED. Uh, these things are like seven bucks. I'll put it at uh, Amazon link in the description below so that um, you can check them out um, if you wanna do the same project for yours. So literally we're gonna drill a hole in the side of the wood burner. It's gonna house our LED. We're gonna run the, run the wires over to the uh, circuit board or where all the wires are. We're just gonna tap into the solenoid circuit and boom, it will be illuminated when the draft door is open. So let's go back out to the wood burner. We're gonna drill a hole, mount this. I'm gonna use some thermostat wire for this. Um, it's not to code, it doesn't, um, uh, by all means will not pass code. Uh, you need to just be safe and make sure that um, you're making your connections the right way so you don't start any electrical fire. Uh, obviously this is away from the home um, and it's a modification done to the, to the wood burner. So it's at your own risk. Don't be a dummy and uh, do something that would uh, compromise your investment. So uh, just be careful. I'm gonna make uh, you know some connections. I'm going to use uh, heat shrink and uh, Basically, it should be bulletproof. Um, these LEDs are not gonna pull any amps whatsoever. I mean, you probably won't even be able to measure the milliamps that this LED pulls. So a th simple thermostat wire 18 gauge is gonna handle the power just fine. Power and amperage is a whole different beast. Um, you can basically run uh, you know, 115 volts through a paper clip, but at the end of the day, if you were to load up that or, or need amperage through it, you'd just fry the paper clip. So keep that in mind that this LED is not gonna pull enough amperage uh, to be compromised with this wire whatsoever. But um, let's go ahead and make our harness and we'll make something happen and we'll go back outside and look at it. All right, guys, we're up here on the side of the wood burner here. Um, I think this is a great spot for it right here. Uh, maybe even here on the side. I just want somewhere where I can see, you know, a uh, direct line of sight from the window to here somewhere so that I can see it. And this is actually a good spot because um, you have an overhang here. I don't know if you can see up in here. You probably cannot. Yes, so uh, th there's a plenty of room to run your wire over to the, the panel here. So uh, I'm going to put it right here in this piece of metal. It's uh, just a thin piece of metal. We're gonna drill a hole through here, 
mount my LED, run my wire across. Let's make it happen. So I'm gonna explain how I'm gonna tie this LED light in. Um, I want it to go off the draft door solenoid. So there's a white wire that comes in. Um, there's also a ground that comes back. And then there's a red wire. So the red wire is a power, it has a one amp fuse. Um, and then it goes through the solenoid and then comes back on the white wire. So red is power, white is common, and we have a ground. So if we look up here um, in this uh, thing going to the actual uh, draft door, we have our red, white, and our green, okay? Come back over here, trace it back. And there's a Wagos here that has all the commons tied together. It has one port left open, so we're gonna use that one. I'm going to use some, uh, some 12 gauge or 14 gauge uh, wire, and we're gonna take it off and we're gonna put our own Wagos on here. And then there's a red one here where your power gets tied in to, that goes over to the solenoid. So I'm gonna cut this old Wagos off and we're gonna add a three port here. Um, actually, I don't need to cut it off. I literally just, these are a quick release Wagos, so I can literally just uh, uh, release it here and pull it out, just like that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my three on here and connect the wire to the LED. And then we're gonna add the LED in the last port here. So. I've drilled a hole through here. I was going to go through this header plate, but this header plate is full of insulation. So I decided that I'm just gonna come down around the side here and tuck it back in through here and go through the panel. Uh, I will put a rubber grommet on this later, uh, drill a bigger hole later. Uh, but as for right now, I don't have a rubber grommet to put in there, uh, the correct size. So we're gonna just use it like this and be careful with it and put it together. So. Uh, I don't have a good spot to put my camera up, so I'm going to cut this off and then I will show you when I'm done. All right, guys, so I tapped into this red one here. Ah. All right, guys, so basically I tapped my thermostat wire in here to the red one, made a three connector here, um, and then I tapped into um, the white guy here um, with a regular piece of wire and then came over here and made my own two port here. So I didn't mess with the factory wiring. I just put a new connector here. It can always be put back to uh, normal with my older Wago. So I'm going to go ahead, wrap this up, put the cover back on, and then I'll show you exactly how it works. All right, guys, got the panel back together. Need to put my grommet here uh, in the future. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. All right, the solenoid is open. The draft door is open. Come over here and the LED light is on. So um, if it focuses, so LED light comes on with it um, as the solenoid shuts or we turn the unit off, then no LED. Okay, cool. So there's that project. Right. If you don't want to uh, do any electrical work or you're scared of it, then uh, it's probably not a project for you. If you want to take on a little do-it-yourself um, and have uh, add an LED on there, uh, by all means, uh, this is not by code. This is not um, what a true electrician would recommend. Um, they're probably going to put all kinds of haphazardous stuff on there. He's probably going to tell you that you need more of an approved um, housing for your LED, blah, 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 blah. Um, this is at your own risk. Uh, I assume that this would uh, avoid the warranty with your unit if you, um, you know, uh, hacked up the wiring and did that kind of thing. I don't know. Um, don't really care. Uh, it's something that you can put back and nobody would ever even know that you did to your furnace. So uh, it's whatever. It's like putting a cold air intake on a car that you have a warranty on. It's uh, neither here nor there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.